This year we had eight students and uh, we came up with this design after many iterations and many different evolutions of it to serve the purpose of creating a sense of space and introduction and welcome to Yes Tomorrow. We built about 10 different arches. Everybody built an arch and we built two that stood all week. So of the eight students, everyone built an arch. We worked on balance of stone stacking and creating multiple stone pieces that would balance in a, in a group. We looked at retaining walls, double face walls, square corners, and uh, we talked about the Fibonacci math that goes into creating a, a shape and a form like this, the law of the circle, the law of water. We talked about temperature and of gravity. And so all of those things came together to create a shape that we then nestled into the landscape. So the landscape itself and all the math of what we learned how to do all fit together to create this shape that's sitting in this space. We've had slideshows and different events every night. We had a bonfire and a cookout last night and different things that were both art and playful. We played in the river yesterday. It was really hot. It was nice to get a break from baking in the sun and made arches and balancey things without a wooden form or frame so everyone could learn how they could take this art form home and, and do it on their own or wherever they were. When you're lifting stones that maybe are 100 pounds, everyone has to move and act as one person. So there are lots of um, team building exercises where we broke up into groups of two and groups of four. And then in the end, we were one group of eight thinking and moving and being as one person. So there's a lot of movement among us of conversation and dialogue driven stone manipulation. It was really cool to see people. The first night, Sunday night, we sat around the table and everyone was really stiff and kind of awkward and, you know, the regular, like, I don't know what's going to happen kind of thing. And then by Tuesday afternoon, we were laughing and joking and telling stories. Today was just really a beautiful dance of everything happening all together in unison.